It's a one-minute video that has Kelowna trending on Twitter. The video shows tent after tent in a long line at the city's designated homeless camping area. It doesn't show the full picture of life at the site, however, and that has the people living there feeling like they're being used. Yeah, you feel kind of like you're on display. Yeah. In a tweet this week, Conservative Party of Canada leader Pierre Polyev shared the video, blaming the situation on the Trudeau government and the NDP and comparing the Kelowna encampment to a third world country. Now, people from all ends of the political spectrum are pointing fingers. Everyone is commenting, it seems, except for the people who actually live there. There's a sleep. Debbie Hotelling and her partner Garth have been staying at the encampment for two years. Forced to live here, they say, after a series of hard knocks, including being laid off during the pandemic. Now homeless, they say it's difficult to escape their situation. You know, like I said, we found places that we could afford, but people, there's already a stigma attached to the fact that we've been, that, we've, that we live here. Yeah. Right? They, I gotta go apply for a job, you can't say you got 10 City, right? Their story is more complex than any one-minute video can tell, and she says it's a terrible feeling being used as fodder for political gains. It's laughable that he would yeah. use this. Yeah, why? Yes, you know, to, cut, not, to not even come down and speak yeah. to anyone here. The city says an estimated 200 people are homeless in Kelowna, four times as many as just two years ago. We have to remember that we're operating in the seventh year of an opioid crisis in our province. We have a housing and, and a affordable housing and a labor crunch. He says with no available beds in homeless shelters, the city has designated the site along the biking trail for people who have nowhere else to go. It's unfortunate that uh, a 50-some-odd second video uh, cast, casts uh, so much attention uh, to a sliver of a situation. Uh, but we, we hope that this might bring attention to all orders of government uh, to a critically important issue. As for Debbie and Garth, they wish governments would work together to provide affordable homes for people who want them. Brady Strachan, CBC News, Kelowna.